I'm going to show you something about using Zoom. Now, I do have an account, so I opened something up just to give you some illustrations. It's very easy to get in. You ultimately, if you're inviting others, you can get a link. All they have to do is click the link, and there are some alternatives that they could get in without, um, even if they could just had to come, come in by phone. So I'm clicking New Meetings, which gets you over to the type of interface you're going to see. Now, I'm the only one here, so I see a huge picture of me, but I'm going to join with computer audio. This is one of the best features. It really works well, and you don't have to worry so much about headsets. And you'll see that I automatically come in with my uh, cat. My mic is not muted. Now, I can't show the video because I'm actually using the video right now, but if it were that I weren't screencasting this, I would have this option and then I could show myself. And everybody coming in has the option of showing themselves. Now, again, I'm just a, a group of one right now, but a nice feature is that you can manage your users. I'm going to move myself over. And what you have is the ability to mute all, unmute. And I'm going to click this more. Let me move this up a bit so hopefully this will show better. Oops, I made it too big. Um, but you have other options, which include uh, letting participants, the way they choose to name themselves, and other areas that are just off the screen right now. Uh, another important feature is you can turn on the chat. And so that individuals, and again, you'd have a bunch in here, would be able to text you if they weren't using the video. And if you had a group of people, you would be able to see all of their names. Now, as I speak, the little microphone goes on, and you can see the icon is showing me that the camera is not enabled right now. Now, the one thing that you might or might not have noticed that confuses people, certainly confused me, is you don't see all of these options. Uh, they go away to give you more screen space, so you have to bring the mouse over into this area. Now, what's very helpful is you can share the screen. Now, again, I'm just by myself, so I could share the screen and show everything, or I could decide to go over to my uh, little spreadsheet that I use where I keep track of all the videos that I create. And this has put me inside the share screen box. So I'm going to turn that off to go back to the large video. Uh, another important feature is you can record these. They, If you have an account, it will save it on your account if you choose to. Oops and you can also save it to the cloud. Now, if you do save a lot that way, I think they have a fee, which of course they need to be able to stay in business. So you have a lot of features. When you go away, you've got more screen space. You can bring the features back on and off. And what's nice is that you can get up to 40 minutes for free to give yourself a chance to test and see whether this would work for you. But I, I found it to be very useful the real benefit is you need to only send a link out to somebody. You can put it on your calendar and people can meet you at those times and you can all be visually together and you can share a lot of information through the screen. So thank you for your time and I will sign off.